in today's video all about our guinea pig's diet and habitat. So it's first thing in the morning and we are ready to go and feed our animals. So let's have a look at what the guinea pigs have got to eat today. So we have got them a selection of fruit and veg, some of which which is just fallen. Um, so we've got um, some spring greens and in here as well, we have got some carrot, we've got a little bit of apple and we've got some really important orange. Now, um, for those of you that keep guinea pigs um, and some of you may already know, it's really important that guinea pigs get a high amount of vitamin C. This is so that they don't get something called scurvy, which is something that pirates used to get. So we always try and give them a form of vitamin C, whether it's like peppers or oranges, they normally get a form of vitamin C in their wet food. And they also have some dry food. So we have got some of their guinea pig pellets. Um, so this is just a selection of seeds and processed things, like for example, these peas, which are squished. Um, and then there's also some corn. So they get a selection of dry feed as well. And then they also get some hay. We like to give them fresh hay daily because it means that it's really good for just keeping their guts churning. They obviously can't get too much wet food because then they might be susceptible to things like diarrhea. And they also can't just have too much dry food either. And hay is a great way of just keeping their bellies moving. Guinea pigs are constantly eating. So hay is something that's really, really good just to help balance their tummies very well. So let's go and give them some food and see what they think. Now, because we have seven guinea pigs here at the Ark Centre, we like to typically give them a scatter feed, which is where we spread their food around the enclosure so that they can definitely get some. I've got my bowl ready, but already the guinea pigs have spotted that there's food out and about and they're coming to see whether or not they can get some. We typically put their wet food outside as long as it's a nice enough day and their dry food obviously goes inside. This helps to protect it from, um, from birds, but also to make sure it doesn't get too wet. So here we have Sandy, the mama, coming to get some food. She's not actually mum of these guinea pigs, but she is the oldest guinea pig here in the group. So I'm going to scatter some of the feed around just so that the others can all get some. If I put it all in one place, they would normally fight over it a little bit, which obviously isn't very good for them. So by scattering it around, it means that everybody can get some food. You might also see the goats wandering around in the background. They are out for their daily walk around and to eat some feed. So you might also spot them in the video. So we typically like to give our guinea pigs feed um, at different times in the day. We typically give them their dry food first thing in the morning um, with their hay. And then we typically give them their wet feed in the evening. Sometimes we give them hay in the evening. It also depends on when we're mucking out their enclosure because obviously we want to put the hay nice and fresh in their enclosure on, um, on nice clean bedding. So now that we've scattered it all around, we'll see whether or not they want to come and have an eat whilst we discuss their natural habitat. So um, in the wild, guinea pigs are found in South America, which is obviously quite hot um, and humid. So it's very different than what you might find here in the UK. And guinea pigs are very, very good at adapting to different climates. So they are good um, in the cold. So for example, when it gets cold here in England, the only thing they don't really like is the is drafts. So they don't really like uh, if it's particularly windy where their enclosure is. So that's something they're not very good at. They would normally be found um, on slightly rocky mountainous terrain. And normally they would live in quite large numbers. Despite guinea pigs being rodents, they don't normally live in burrows. They would normally live in rocky crevices, which would naturally be found where they would live in the wild. Because they're so good at adapting, they can also be found in grasslands and savannas, but the most common place is rocky mountainous grasslands. Guinea pigs are herbivores, so they would eat a variety of different plants and shrubs and things. They wouldn't be found eating meat or insects, obviously, being a herbivore, but grasses are a big firm favourite of theirs. We find that our guinea pigs get most excited when our rangers go and pick them some grass. We try um, about once a year to lay some turf in here, some fresh turf, um, and the guinea pigs eat it very quickly so it doesn't have much chance of growing. However, we give them a variety of fresh herbs and fresh grasses as often as we possibly can because this is a much more natural feed for them. They often um, squeak when they are going to be fed or when we, particularly when we give them grass, which is a really good way of showing how happy they are. 
Now, guinea pig babies are actually born able to eat solid foods. They do still nurse from mum, but because they can have a litter of between like four to up to like 13 babies in one go, it's really important that they are able to eat feed that they might find naturally in the wild as well, because obviously for poor mum, that's a lot of milk to be giving to her babies. Because they're able to eat solid foods as well, they can also eat other feeds that are around, which gives them a better chance of surviving. In the wild, there are obviously a lot of predators that might want to eat a guinea pig, namely snakes um, are a big fan in South America of eating guinea pigs. They're also caught by humans. They're actually bred in South America for food as well as pets. So I hope you've all enjoyed learning about the guinea pig's diet and habitat. Tune in tomorrow to find out more about their adaptations. Thank you so much for watching guys and thank you so much to everybody who has been supporting the Art Centre through this time. Thanks guys, bye!